for home selling time. If this is the first time you're visiting with us, we want to extend you a very warm welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today is your birthday, we want to wish you a very happy birthday. Homeowners do is relating in, in uh, replacing or installing receptacles or power switches, and that is something that you can do yourself if you are careful and you know how to work safely around electricity. Additionally, some homeowners will tackle things as uh, breakers in your breaker box. And one of the most important tools to have when you are operating in those areas are screwdrivers that they are designed for this purpose. Especially when you open the breaker box, you want the screwdriver that it is insulated and also the correct screwdriver for the job. And today we're going to talk about a very known, little known screwdriver, which is called a, a, a PCX. And uh, you're going to be able to see the profile a little bit easier in a moment, but it is designed specifically for this purpose. So I'm going to show you what the screwdrivers are, what the screws are designed, and you might be surprised to find out that, that the screws in receptacles and switches are neither flat nor Phillips, but they can be uh, tightened and loosened with flat screwdrivers, Phillips screwdrivers, rubber screwdrivers, and ECF screwdrivers. So let's discuss what is the best option for you. So we have all seen the typical receptacles, which is are very similar. And you have might notice that the, the screws on the terminals and also the screws that attach it to the uh, plate, in fact, every electrical screw you're going to find and that includes screws that they are in uh, the main panel, have this really strange look. They seem to be a combination of uh, Phillips and, and straight. And in all reality, both, I'm sorry, both Phillips and straight will operate in them. But you might be surprised to find out that also a T slot will operate on them. So was that very nice of the manufacturers to give us all these options? Yes and no. Actually they were designed for a different type of screwdriver and it is this one, I don't know if you can see it here. And this is a combination of uh, the slot and the Phillips. Focus, focus, as you can see, is the combination of the two. There we go. Now, there are some advantages. If you do not do a lot of electrical work, there is really no, way, no reason to go and buy one of these screwdrivers. However, here the reason why neither a slotless screwdriver or a, a Phillips is intended for that. Well, the, slot, the, the Phillips, I'm sorry, the slot, it gives you a lot of power uh, and torque to really tighten a screw down. It can slip easily. And if you're working with live electricity or if you're working on a panel, that can be catastrophic, especially if you do not use uh, insulated screwdrivers. These are insulated to a thousand volts. And of course the problem with the Phillips is that it can come, it can come out. And again, it can slip, you know, it, it is a problem. This one, combines both of them and it has a very very tight torque and also at the same time gives you the advantage of not <coughs> being as well in coming out now <clears throat> robert's screws most people have them and it is the third option which is probably the best option for most people as you can see, it is easy to...
as you can see it is very easy to to operate and reduce cam difficulty so unless <coughs> i'm sorry so unless you're doing a lot of electrical work a screwdriver that is specifically made for this purpose and this is called an ecx screwdriver it is not necessary again in order of uh, in order of uh, utility the slotted will be the one that most people have if not all people and gives you a lot of uh, ability to a lot of uh, torque ability but can easily slip and can be dangerous the second option will be a standard phillips and again when you're torquing it a lot it can come out the third and the best option for most people would be the Robertson screw, the Roberts, sorry, which is a Canadian style. And again, it can both tighten and loosen the screws very easily. And the best option is really the ECX driver. This is, I'm sorry, it is hard to do with one hand. The ECX driver that combines the Phillips and the Robertson in one. It doesn't compile the Phillips, I'm sorry, the straight and the Robertson. It is not really a Phillips. It might look like a Phillips a little bit. Focus. Come on. Okay, you can see the profile there. It does look a little bit about like a Phillips, but it isn't. And then some people have uh, argued that uh, these screwdrivers, the ECX screwdrivers are unnecessary and they're worthless. Look, if you're the typical DIYer that maybe installs a, a receptacle once a year or so, absolutely, either the Philips or the slotted are going to be totally fine for you. However, if you are doing a little more of your idea why you're little, uh, doing a little more, the Roberts is probably your, your best bet. But definitely if you dump a lot of electricity, the ECX uh, screwdriver is the one that you want to have to, to work when it is the safest. It will avoid uh, slipping without purpose. And if you're doing this a lot, definitely purchase a an insulated one and a high voltage one. See, this is a thousand volts. And all the ones that I was showing you are a thousand volts. Do not work with electricity with screwdrivers that are not insulated. Okay? It is not a good plan. And I really like this because it tells you what is in the you see that there is a very clear picture. This is the ACX drive and you can see it's a combination. Here in the picture is very clear. It's a combination of the straight and the Roberts. And when I, I like to put them on holders, then I can very easily see what they are. And this of course is the straight. And this of course is the Philips. So it's very easy to identify what they are. And this is or not, it is part of a set. I like them with a the handle and this is a Roberts. Hey friends, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the Urban Homesteading channel. And if you did, we'll appreciate your thumbs up. If you didn't, the other button works as well. Share, like, subscribe and comment so we can please the YouTube algorithm and we can continue producing very good uh, content for you. Also, let us know what else you might like to see in future episodes and if this style of episode is something that you enjoy. From Dr. Wizard and the Herbal Homesteading Channel, stay safe, wash your hands, get vaccinated, put your masks on, so we will continue seeing you in future episodes of the Herbal Homesteading Channel. Stay safe, friends.